Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You can start. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Well, good morning, New Birth. Praise the Lord. I am Minister Dana Tyler, and I have the privilege of serving as the Deputy Director of Ministries here at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, where our senior pastor is the incomparable Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant. I am so excited to be with you in prayer this morning. So if you don't mind, do me a favor, send up a greeting, say hello, say good morning. Let us know where you are watching from. I see you, Sister Shay. I see you, Xavier. I see you, Marlene. I see you, Sharon. I see you, Sister Monica. Good morning. I see you, Sister Sharika. Good morning. We are so, so excited to be in prayer. Now type your city in the chat so we can be sure to pray for your city. The Bible says pray for the peace of the city and you will have peace. So put your city in there, make sure you have shared to your timeline, share to your various groups because it is praying time. Listen, we are in the final leg of our prayer pays off campaign. And uh, don't forget that we still have prayer tomorrow at 7 a.m. with Dr. Bryant. And then Tuesday night, we have group therapy at 7.30 p.m. Now, remember, seating is limited. So we do ask that you register by sending an email to RSVP at newbirth.org. That's RSVP at newbirth.org. Good morning, LaFay. I see you. Good morning, Joan, Nancy. Latanya, so good to have you on this morning. All right, come on from Titusville and Marietta. We're going to pray for the peace in those cities. Good morning from, uh, what is that, Simpson, New Jersey, New uh, North Carolina, from McDonough. Good morning, good morning. I see y'all. I love it, all these early morning intercessors. Amen. And while we're still in the uh, sphere of prayer, we will be having a lock-in, a prayer lock-in this Friday, October 21st from 9 p.m. to midnight. We're going to pray for those three hours straight because, of course, we are leading up to our giving campaign this Sunday, October 23rd, we are believing God to raise $1 million over and above our tithes and our offerings. So you can make your pledge. You can visit our website, www.wearenewbirth.org to get any more information and to participate in that giving. And we know that God is a God who does exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. So we know that God is going to help us meet and exceed our goal. You know, David said, I have set my affection to the house of my God, and therefore I'm going to give of my own treasure, of my own gold and silver, over and above what I've already prepared for the holy house. So we're going to be doing this same thing. Now, listen, as we get ready to pray, there's something I want you to consider. I was thinking about um, 
Daniel chapter 10, where it tells the story of Daniel fasting and praying to get clarity over a particular vision that he had received concerning the children of Israel. And the Bible tells us that Daniel was fasting for 21 days. And in verse 12 of chapter 10, there's an angel that comes to visit him. And he tells Daniel, since the first day you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, I your words were heard and I have come for your words. He also goes on to say, but the prince of Persia resisted me for 21 days, but Michael, the chief prince, one of the chief princes came and helped me. Listen, there's four things that I want you to think about as we pray. One, God hears you. Have that assurance that God hears you. Two, that he responds immediately to your prayers. The third thing I want you to understand is that there are principalities that are resisting you receiving what God has for you. But here's the best part. Number four, God sends angels to fight for you. Listen, we're getting ready to pray. We're going to pray and believe God to hear us respond immediately. And even though the enemy is going to try to resist us, we know that God sends angels to fight for us. You'll remember when um, Elijah was surrounded by the enemy, he asked the Lord to open his servant Gehazi's eyes to help him see that there are more for him than against him. And I want you to know that the same assurance goes for you. There are more for, fighting for you than there are against you. So let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness toward us because your loving kindness, God, it's better than life. We thank you because you are the God who hears and answers our prayers. You are Jehovah Sabaoth, God. You are the Lord who commands the heavenly host, God. We thank you that with you, nothing is impossible. You are the Lord, strong and mighty, God. We thank you. You are the Lord, mighty in battle. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, God. You are creator of heaven and earth, God. You are all powerful. You are all knowing, God. You are sovereign, God. You reign, God, and nothing escapes your notice, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that if a sparrow falls to the ground, you know about it, God. You know the very number of hairs on our head, God. You know everything that is worrying us, that is concerning us, Lord God, that is uh, keeping us up at night, God. You know everything that we put before you, Lord God. So we cast all of our cares on you this morning because you care for us. Thank you for loving us, God, with an everlasting love. Thank you for being concerned about us your people, God. What is man that you are mindful of us? Hallelujah. And the son of man that you would visit us. Thank you, God, for being a God who wants to be in relationship with us, Lord God. We love you today because you first loved us. Thank you, God, for loving us enough to reconcile us to you. Thank you, God, for loving us enough to give us the privilege of prayer, of being able to come to you, to talk to you, God, to hear your voice in response, God, to get answers from you, God, for every problem that we have. We know that you have the solution. You are the only wise God. You are the only only living God. And we pray, Lord God, that you would move on our behalf. Father, right now we lift up our pastor, God, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us pastors according to your heart, God, that feed us with knowledge and understanding, God. We thank you, Lord God, that you keep him in good health, God. We thank you for strength, Lord God, for longevity, God. We thank you for increased wisdom, God, increased discernment, God. Increase his capacity for you, Lord God. I thank you, God, for surrounding him with the right influences, God. We thank you because there is safety in the multitude of counselors, God. And I pray, God, that the counselors that you send him, God, will be like Jonathan was to David, God, that will push your agenda for his life, God, and not their own, God. In the name of Jesus, God, thank you for every executive pastor, for all of our leaders, Lord God, who hold his arms up, Lord God, 
as Aaron and her held up the arms of Moses, God, we pray, God, that uh, iron will sharpen iron, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for keeping his heart, his mind, his spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for increasing his peace, his prosperity, God, increase his capacity to lead your people, God. Give him a supernatural, God, ability to counsel, Lord God, and direct your people, God. We pray that you increase his influence, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for increasing him more and more, even his children, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for every uh member, Lord God, of new birth, Lord God, that we would obey them that have the rule over us, God, that we would submit ourselves to our leader, God, in the name of Jesus, because he watches for our souls, God, and we want him to give an account with joy, God, and not with grief, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, help us, Lord God, to run with the vision that you have given him for this house, God. We pray, God, that you would equip us, God, that you would anoint us, Lord God. We pray for a fresh outpouring of your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray that you pour out the spirit of supplication on your people, God. We thank you because this is the generation that seeks you, Lord God. We are seeking your face, God. We need your wisdom. We need your guidance. We need your um, uh, ordering of our steps, Lord God. We need you, God, in the face of adversity, God. We need you to fight for us, God. We seek your face, God. We want to know what's in your heart, God. We want to know what's in your mind, God. We want you to teach us to pray, God. We say like the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, God. Help us to pray better, God. Increase our prayer language, Lord God. Increase our um, a discernment, Lord God. Help us to be in tune with your spirit, Lord God. We thank you for the spirit that makes intercession for us, oh God. We thank you that our prayers will be more effective, more targeted, God, in the name of Jesus and more demonstrative of your power, God. We thank you, God, that you will teach us to pray prophetically, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you that signs and wonders will follow all prayers, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, so that those who uh, doubt your existence, oh God, will come to know you as their Savior, Lord God. We pray, God, that you increase our desire for prayer, God. You said if we hunger and thirst after righteousness, we would be filled, oh God. We pray that you fill us to overflowing, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Increase in us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. We incline our ear to you, God, so that we can hear what you are saying. Hallelujah, God. We pray that you increase our discernment, Lord God, so that we can be like the sons of Issachar, God, who will know what to do in these difficult times, God. We pray, Lord God, that you uh, build stability and maturity in us oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, let us be like trees planted by the rivers of water, God, that bring forth fruit in its season, God, hallelujah, that our leaves will not wither, Lord God, and everything we put our hands to will prosper, God. We thank you because your word tells us that those that are planted in the house of our God shall flourish in the courts of our God. We thank you, Lord God, for helping us to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, God. God, we thank you because we know that our labor is not in vain, God. I pray that you mature us in you, God. I pray that you grow us in your spirit, God. Help us to be consistent, Lord God. Help us to know what we need to know by your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for leading us and guiding us to all truth, Lord God. Help us to be instant in season and out of season, God. Help us to be about our Father's business. Business, God, help us to do the work of him who sent us while it is day, God, because the night comes when no man can work, God. We thank you because your word tells us that you have given every man his work, God, and you've commanded the porter to watch, Lord God. You've given our pastor an assignment, God. Now I pray that you give give us, your the people, Lord God, a mind to work, God. Help us to be like Nehemiah, God, that we, uh, we're about a great work and we won't come down, God. We cannot come down, hallelujah, because the night is far spent, God. Lord, your word tells us that the sun that sleeps in harvest causes shame, God, and we don't want to be a reproach to you, God. We want to work, Lord God. Help us to put our hand to the plow, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, in the 
the name of Jesus, Lord God, to win souls for you, God, in the name of Jesus. Let us be a witness for you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, your word tells us that he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathers fruit unto eternal life, God. So we thank you, Lord God, for uh, uh, helping us multiply the work of our hands, God. Make us a more effective witness, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Help us to be the salt and the light that you have called us to be, God. We pray that you would sanctify us, holy God, the very God of peace. Sanctify us, holy God, that our whole spirit, our whole soul, our whole body be preserved blameless until the day of your coming, Jesus. Help our light to shine, God, so that men would see our good works and give you glory, Lord God. Let our lives, God, be that that uh, that living epistle, God, read of men so that when they see us, they see you, God. Let our lives reflect your glory, God. Let our lives reflect your love, God. Let our lives reflect your power, God. Let our lives reflect your spirit at work in us, God. Let our lives reflect your truth, God. In the name of Jesus, God, help us to examine ourselves, God. You told us to walk circumspectly, Lord God. You told us to wear this world like a loose garment, God. Help us not to love the world, God, neither the things that are in the world, God, but help us to be so in love with you, God. We just want to be so in love with you, God. We give you our hearts today, God. We turn our hearts towards you, God. Hallelujah. Help us not to love anyone or anything more than we love you, God. Oh, Jesus, we just pray that you would perfect our love for you, God. Perfect our love love for one another, God. Help us to love what you love, God. Help us to hate what you hate, God. I pray that you would give us singleness of heart, God. Singleness of purpose, God. Give us a singular interest, Lord God, in living a life that is pleasing to you, God. We pray that the words of our mouths, God, and the meditation of our hearts, God, would be acceptable to you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for unifying us, your people, Lord God. You said that there is nothing that can be withheld from the people when we are one, God. So I pray, God, for oneness, God, unity, God, singleness, God, of heart and purpose. Oh, God, for you, Lord God. Help us to teach our children, Lord God, to know you, to fall in love with you too, God. You told us to train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it, God. Help us to teach our babies to fall in love with you, God. I pray that you fill them with your spirit at an early age, God. Lord, your word tells us that children are like arrows in the hand of a mighty warrior, Lord God, and happy is the man who fills his quiver full of it, God. We thank you, Lord God, that our children will fight our enemies in the gates, God. We thank you that we sharpen our children like arrows, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that you cause them to be a light wherever they go. I pray that you raise up mighty men of valor and women, hallelujah, of purpose and purity, God, in the name of Jesus, in our children, Lord God, I thank you that they'll be the influencers on their campuses and in their neighborhood, God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that as we seek you first, God, as we seek your kingdom, God, as we seek your righteousness, God, that all these other things will be added unto us, God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, because your word tells us if we would be willing and obedient, we will eat the good of the land, God. We thank you for giving us a willing heart, God. Thank you for giving us an obedient spirit, hallelujah. You told us if we would hearken diligently to your voice, Lord God, and observe everything that you tell us to do, that all these blessings would come on us and overtake us, God. We thank you for blessings overtaking us this week, God. We thank you, Lord God, because you are faithful to your word. You told us in blessing, you will bless us. In multiplying, you will multiply us, God. So we stand firmly on your word, God. We thank you because you are not a man that you should lie. You're not the son of man that you should repent, God. You haven't changed your mind about us, God. You are faithful, God. There's no shadow of turning with you, God. You are from everlasting to everlasting, God. And we bless you. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah because you are righteous. You're wonderful. You do all things
things well, God. Everything happens in your perfect timing, God. And no matter what our situations look like, God, we stand firm on what you have said, God. You are a, the God who heals us. You are the God who saves us. You are the God who delivers us. You are the God who perfects us, God. And we thank you, Lord God, for even every test and trial that we have to go through because we know that you're perfecting us, God. Hallelujah. You're bringing us forth as pure gold. Hallelujah. We glorify you, God, that every day we look more and more like you. Every day we are conformed to the image of your dear son. We glorify you, God. We bless you and we praise you. We thank you for this time in your presence. We thank you for this time to agree in prayer. We thank you, Lord God, that you go before us, that you're the God who is with us. You will not fail us and you will not forsake us. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a great day today. Thank you for going before us and making crooked places straight, God. Thank you for giving us feet like hinds feet, God, that we can traverse any problems that we face in the name of Jesus. We glorify you. We bless you and we praise you. Thank you for sending angelic hosts to war on our behalf, God. Thank you because your word says that the angel of the Lord is a camped around those that fear you. God, we love you. We reverence you. We honor you. We bless you and we adore you. It is in the matchless name of Jesus that we pray hallelujah to God. Now, if you believe that prayer, if you believe that God is making ways for you, if you believe that God is sending angels to war on your behalf, if you believe that God is reconciling your relationships, he's fixing your finances, I need you to type amen in the chat. Hallelujah. Put some hand clap emojis in the chat and praise God. God for the victory that he has already given us. The word says he always causes us to triumph. Listen, we love you. We thank God for you. Thank you for tuning into prayer this morning. Remember to join pastor tomorrow. Remember group therapy tomorrow at 730. Remember to set your, your affection to the house of your God and prepare your sacrifice so that we can meet and exceed our goal on the 23rd. We love you so much. We'll see you soon. God bless you. Hallelujah.